the size of the challenges that we are facing today in manufacturing and across value chains is forcing companies and governments to work more closely together. Some of the recipes that have worked in the past may not work in a context in which manufacturing has been disrupted by geopolitics, climate change, and the evolution of the fourth industrial revolution. The fourth industrial revolution keeps moving at a faster and faster pace every day. And that comes, of course, with a lot of opportunities for manufacturing and supply systems, but also with a lot of challenges and requires us to think about the expected, but also the unexpected consequences. And the real risk here is that we may be shaping a future of manufacturing that works just for a few. And it's the responsibility of the global community to make it work for all, both in developed and in developing economies. Workforce engagement, investing in upskilling, reskilling, making manufacturing more exciting for new generations, it's another priority for the global manufacturing community. A future of production that drives economic growth, that unlocks innovation, and that can help unleash new business models, but also a future of production that is sustainable and that is more inclusive. We need to make sure that we scale the adoption of technology in a way that works for all. It starts within companies, and companies have the unique opportunity to start moving beyond the adoption of specific cases at a factory level and start really scaling new applications, new solutions across all their supply networks, across the different functions that are adjacent to manufacturing. Think about procurement, think about HR, but also then scaling more broadly across their network of customers. There's one main reason of why collaboration is key if we want to solve some of the biggest challenges that we are facing. And that simple reason is that they affect us all. Within the framework of our global platform, we are engaging over 150 organizations coming from, of course, business, government, academia, and civil society to help the global manufacturing community tackle some of these global challenges that we are facing today. The Global Lighthouse Network, it's an amazing initiative, bringing together some of the most advanced manufacturing facilities and value chains from all around the world. But another initiative that has been extremely successful, it's the Smart Industry Readiness Index. We are building the most amazing and the largest global database on digital maturity in manufacturing. Why that's important? Because when you look at the aggregated data, you can inform and make better decisions. The future of manufacturing is not about one company, one government, one country. It's about bringing the global community together to fix some of the global challenges that we are all facing.